Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Shirani. Today I'm going to show you how I make my Belizean meat pie dough. Okay, so for this recipe, you're going to need two and a quarter cups of all purpose flour. When you measure out your flour, you always want to make sure you level it off on your measuring cup. Next, you're going to need 1 teaspoon of baking powder, 3 quarter teaspoon of salt. I'm just going to use a fork and mix this around. As always, I'm going to have the exact measurements in the description box below for you. You're going to need a half a cup of shortening. Then you're going to take a pastry cutter and cut the shortening in. I know most people don't have a pastry cutter so if you don't have one you can just use two knives to do that. That's what my mom always used growing up. You don't have to use this recipe just for meat pies, you can use it for anything you want. But this is what I use when I make my Belizean meat pies. And if you're interested in my Belizean meat pie recipe, I'm going to leave it linked below for you. Now I'm going to add one beaten egg. Use your fork and mix that in. And the last thing is 2 thirds cup of water and I'm just using room temperature water. Mix that until everything sticks together. Now I'm going to switch over to my hands and I'm just going to make sure everything really stick together and then I'm just going to knead it in the bowl for a couple minutes. As you knead, make sure you clean up the bowl so you get every bit of flour you want it to be as clean as possible. I just knead it a little bit, it doesn't have to be smooth. This is the easiest recipe you'll ever make and you'll never think hard about making meat pies again. The way I like to describe this dough is a cross between a pie crust and a tortilla. It's not flaky enough to be pie crust but it's not elastic enough to be tortilla. Like I said, it doesn't have to be smooth. It's just gonna be nice and soft but not sticky. I 
I like to just cover it with plastic wrap and put it in the fridge until I'm ready for it. I wanted to show you what it looks like when you roll it out. What you'll want to do is put some flour down on the counter so it doesn't stick. But you don't have to put a whole lot. It won't really stick but just to be on the safe side. Put a little bit of flour on your rolling pin also. I'm just going to roll it out a little bit and cut out a few so you can see. Like I said earlier, if you want to see how I make my meat pies, I'm going to leave the recipe link below for you. But I just wanted to quickly show you what this looks like. This recipe makes a total of 12 meat pies. To make my meat pies, I need a 4 inch and a 3 inch cutter and that's just for the bottom and the top of the meat pie. And that's it you guys, easy peasy. That's the easiest meat pie dough you'll ever make and you'll never think hard about making meat pies again. This is a clip from my Belizean meat pies video and I'm using this exact meat pie dough recipe. So if you're interested in this full recipe, I'm going to leave it linked below for you. Well, I hope you give this recipe a try. If you do, please come back and let me know what you think. And as always, thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't yet subscribed, please don't forget to do that. And I'll talk to you in my next one. Take care. Bye.